guys, it's Half I am back again and this is going to be an update on my Project 50 Pan Roulette. I will go through the things I've already finished before today. Um, there are two things which I haven't actually finished them but I'm getting rid of them because they're both terrible, terrible products as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, and they are part of the reason that my makeup, on my eyes at least, is looking a bit like a hot mess. So um, I, will, I will get to that after I've gone through these other things. Um, yeah, so I'll be adding a couple of new things in, which I've pretty much done every single update I've done, I've added new stuff in. So, things that I have used up. The eyeshadow, uh, all I wanted to do was hit pan, and in this one, this is the BH Cosmetics so That's Heart palette that I got from Monica the Diva. Then we have the eyeshadow, uh, the bronzer, which is actually a duo, but I was only using the light side. I just wanted to hit pan, so I've hit pan in that. So that's good. Then we have the W7 Photoshoot Foundation, which I destashed because it had started oxidizing. I used like just over half of it. Um, clearly not my favorite product. Then we have the Estee Lauder the Sumptuous Extreme Mascara in black. This had started to transfer um, and be all weird, which is something I really don't like with mascara when they transfer, which it's funny because they seem to do it more the older they get. You can't understand it if they were new and kind of wet. This one I'd had for ages and I started doing it, which is kind of a no-no for me. So that one is gone. Then we have the Damask Rose Harvey Prince um, fragrance. The NYX Jumbo pencil in milk which I took out of the project because I simply wasn't using it and I really don't like it very much not really sure what all the hype and hype is about that one uh, then we have the uh, Grace and Cole pineapple and passion fruit <coughs> then we have the Grace and Cole uh, Grace Cole uh, pineapple and passion fruit hand cream, which is my favourite hand cream. I only wanted to use it down to here. You can see I went a bit further. So I'm, I'm using something different. So now I'm using something different, but I, I got, I reached my, more than reached my goal on that one. We have the Urban Skincare Co. Repair Body Balm. Um, just a sample one. That's probably like the first thing I finished using. Um, the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Lip Balm, love this stuff, will probably repurchase it when I don't have a pile of other lip balm. The Neon & Co Hair Oil, which was like water. The Suntivity SPF 30 Moisturiser, which smells like Elmer's glue and is super duper liquidy. The uh, Organic Care Fig and Papaya Body Wash, which I kind of met my goal on, which was like halfway, and then I kept on using it until it was finished in the shower anyway, because I really didn't like the scent on it that much, just wanted to get rid of it. The Nivea Day Cream, I quite like Nivea cream products, might be a bit hard to see, a bit of glare there, but it's completely empty. It's White on white, really hard to tell, but trust me, it's empty. Uh, the High Lift, High Lift Kilplex Bond Sustainer, which is like Olplex, only different brand. Um, so I use up that. Um, I destashed the Rimmel Vinyl Max in Hypnotic because it's really old. It makes my lips feel kind of weird and. Um, Basically, it's kind of gross. Then we have another one that I destatched, which is the Australis Mint Conditioner Lip Gloss. Um, this did not condition my lips. It did not moisturize my lips. It just made them feel dry and crusty. I used over half of it, and it's kind of old, so there you go. Um, the Avon La Femme fragrance, which I had like five samples of it and I stuck them all in here and so I used that. 
um, the Derma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask. Got a couple of uses out of it. It was okay. It's not my favourite kind of mask. The Essie Beyond Cozy Nail Polish, which looks like it's got heaps in it. It's, it's down under this line here and it is impossible to work with. So it's not like I don't have a shitload of that stuff. Um, the Liqueur Power Serum, which was just a little sample that I got out of their Christmas Advent. Um, and the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara, which I am seriously missing since I stopped using it. Um, it started to do the transfery thing, so it got knocked out as well. Um, Okay, so that's everything that I've used so far. Now on to the two things that I will be de-stashing this time around. Because they're, the as far as I'm concerned, there's terrible, terrible products. The first one is the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner. This is basically brand new. First time I used it, I was like, what is this shit? It looks like it's got a really nice, and it's quite, it's like a texture point, like it's a felt tip liner. Seriously, you have to like work at it really hard and it drags and it's kind of like you almost got to like dot a line a lot. It's just, I don't have, I mean, you know, I think when you like shake it around and carry on with it, it, you know, you can get it, like, I can get a line eventually like I did today which is now not there but here's my problem this says it's waterproof like it clearly says right there my camera would bloody focus see right there it says waterproof if my eye starts watering it just disappears it like smears which is part of the reason it's such a mess right there and such a mess right there. I ended up going in with black eyeshadow to try and fix it up. Because it just smudged and smeared. And I actually tried to put eyelashes on today. And they didn't work. And my eyes were watering. And the eyeliner just, it vanished. And it just smeared. And seriously, this stuff is shit. So I am, I'm in a mood today, by the way. This stuff is crap. And I have said before, if a product is really terrible, like I really am not enjoying it while I'm using it, I'm not going to go on using it, I'm just going to throw it. Which is what I'm doing with this one. The other one is the mascara that I put in last, last update. So this is like less than three weeks ago, and I've used this probably three or four times because I haven't done my makeup a whole lot. Uh, it doesn't smell bad. It has what looks like a tiny little wand. It's wet to the point that it doesn't dry, kind of wet. And then like 20 minutes after putting this shit on my eyes, I will get a big black fresh mascara blob down here or up on my eyelid. And it's like, seriously? And then you go like this, a hand on your eye. And I have had this on for an hour and a half. And it still feels wet. Like it doesn't feel like it's dried properly. Even though my eyelashes are kind of crusty. Which might have something to do with trying to put false eyelashes on. But this stuff is shit. Like, ugh, it's terrible. I now understand why so many people didn't like it. Apart from the fact it doesn't really do anything for my eyelashes. It just makes them black. Um, and then it just smears everywhere and it doesn't set properly and I ain't got time for that shit. So, those two are now gone as well. On to the things that I haven't finished. The W7 Honolulu Bronzer. I just opened it. I have not used this for two weeks and look at that. Boom, another chunk has broken off. Um, oh, that came from the other end. I haven't actually used this, so I still haven't hit pan where I wanted to hit pan. 
but that's fine. I'm really not too worried about that. The MAC Vegas Vault Lipstick. I'm wearing it today. I've Today's the first time I've worn it since last time. So it won't have moved. Not enough to actually mark it. Then we have the Itini, which again, I think I've worn it like twice. And this thing is, I only use it on my upper waterline to tight line with. So I know it's going to take ages. So I really don't expect that it will have moved anywhere from where it was last time. So again, I haven't even bothered measuring that one. Then we have the Starlux Ultra Olive Eye Pencil. I'll just, yeah. Um, I haven't, I think I used it once. Um, yeah, so it also has not moved. I have no mojo, so it's really hard to make myself do stuff. The W7 Pink Lipstick, have not used. The Essence Eyebrow Stylist, oops, is probably the thing that I've used almost the most. I've almost, almost hit pan, like side pan right there. But as always, I will insert picture to show you the difference between last time and this time uh, so that you can see. The um, Inglot highlighter in 85 I have not used. Still looks exactly the same. It's not really a highlighter in my opinion, it's more of a blush topper. <laughs> the Lon Vita Light C1 face mask. Still have not used. The Lacura Cherish Hankering. This I have used. I've used this every single day. Um, it's getting very easy to squish it, but it has so much air in it. I, I really have no idea where this particular product is. If I had to guess, I would say it's probably down around about here. So that's going to be one of those ones that's finished when it's finished. The... Chapstick, the double ended chapstick thing. Um, if you remember, I told you the nighttime end, my daughter squished it. And, but we are now all the way, come on, camera, all the way down there. So, um, this is the end that I use the most because um, I don't always go outside. Bit of a vampire sometimes. And,. That is the progress on the daytime side, if it would focus. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's actually a bit better than where we were last time. I quite like it. Um, I like using the lip balm, so. <sighs> the Maybelline in Very Cherry. Maybelline lipstick in Very Cherry. Looks like that. Um, I actually used it a couple of times. Uh, it doesn't really look like it's moved any, so I'm not even going to bother with the marking thing. And the NYX Contrafic, which I can't tell you where I am because it's like not see-through. But I use this every time I do my brows, so, and I like it. And the last product is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. I actually really like this. It's probably the first concealer, like under eye concealer, that I actually really like. Um, it's a bit hot messy today, mainly because of the eyeshadows and the eyeliner and the mascara. But um, I actually don't know where I am. It does not like me to see where it is, and I've tried all of those tricks for determining where you are in one of these. And it just basically says, well, no, I'm not going to show you. So I don't actually know where I am in that one. So that's where I am with everything that was already in the project. So I am going to draw.
two more items um, to add to this. And we have my little container. I'll give it a good shake. Let's see if we can get something interesting. Um, two of them wanted to come out at once. Okay, we'll just take those two. The first one. First one hates me. Um, so I'm not actually going to do this one. This was like favourite blush to hit pan. I have so many blushes on the go at the moment and I actually don't have a favourite blush. So. so I'll just draw a different one. my project and do what I like. Okay. Product you've hit a pan on. Okay. And the second one is neutral lip product. Okay. I will be back in a minute. Okay. I'm back. For the item that I've already hit pan on, I'm going to go with an eyeshadow. This is from my Models Prefer shadow palette, which if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I sort of tried to pan last year. Was it the year before? I think it was year before. Uh, was not very successful. <laughs> this is obviously a knockoff for one of the Urban Decay palettes. Um, so, I am going to use up this shadow here, the one that has the most use in it. This is called, if I'll put it up that way, you can see for yourself, it's called Overtime. So, as you can see, I've used a lot of it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to finish that one off. I have lots of shadows that are similar to that. Um, yeah, so that is the product I've already hit pan on. The neutral lip product I'm going to pick is this L'Oreal Color Rouge Anti-Feathering Lip Liner in, in their Nudes for Life line. This one is in Belle Naturel. It is a kind of ready brown colour. I have actually been using this quite a bit in recent times. Um, I have a nude lip that I've just put in another project and I tend to put something like this underneath in order to make it more acceptable to my eye. Um, so that is how much I have in that particular product. Um, I did get asked the other day how many products I had actually used up. So I thought I'd just do a quick count while I'm here. So according to my current count, I have used 23 products or hit my goal or decluttered 23 products. So I'm almost halfway to my 50 goal. So there you go. Uh, so that was my update for my Project 50 Pan Roulette. If you want to see more of my stuff, then click the subscribe button down there. Click the little bell if you want notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.